What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Sorry about my scratchy voice. I am still fighting a cold. Hopefully we get through it pretty soon. But needless to say, we are here to talk about the new shelter today. If you don't know, in the Atomic Shop right now, there has been a new shelter that came out. So we're going to scroll down to shelters. Let me show it to you. Camps right here. It is going to be the Summer Camp Shelter. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest shelters we've had so far. Now, as you can see, the shelter itself is a summer camp. So that's really cool. I don't think the pictures actually do it justice on the actual size of the shelter. So we're, I'm going to take you to it in just a second. The coolest thing is about this shelter is that you get there using a bus. We get a little nod to like summertime transportation going to summer camp with the bus picking you up. I think it's really cool. This is gonna run you about 1500 atoms. So it is the same price as the Flatland Shelter and the Soundstage Shelter, the two newer shelters that are out right now. Now let's jump into this shelter from here. As you see, I'm at my camp and I actually have the bus right here on the map. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to delete this bus. I'm going to show you how much of the budget that it actually takes up. You see that small little uh, notch right there? Let's go ahead and reset this bad boy down again. Just to show you how much budget the bus actually takes up. Uh, find a good space for it right here to fit in there. There we go. As you see, it doesn't take up too much space on your of your budget. So that's really cool. It is a good sized school bus and you can actually walk inside of it as well. It is pretty spacious. I'm sure those of you that like to uh, put items on things and merge glitch them, kind of like what I do with a lot of my items on shelves, you can probably merge glitch some plushies sitting on the shelf in here. Actually, you can probably just put plushies in here sitting on the seats in general. Let's see, just for, uh, just for, uh, so we know just to get an idea let's see here find our plushies here we go i think it's going to take a little bit of manip uh, manipulation of the build setup but you could probably get like the bigger like the super mutant plushie in here if you really try hard enough sitting in the actual seat of the bus so that's pretty cool so you can do that also putting uh like an open sign on it like if you were to put your store in here you shouldn't have a problem with that um let's see here just to prove it right here we're just going to use one of these lights right here and again it's going to take a little bit of manipulation with the build uh system the way it is but you could probably get the light on it no problem here's that open sign just to just to prove a point as you can see you can have it set right on it like right here there you go no problem whatsoever goes right on there but anyways so this is really cool you could probably decorate the bus a little bit if you really want to let's go ahead and, and take a trip over to summer camp just to show you what the inside of this shelter looks like and here we are the summer camp shelter again those images didn't do it justice for the size it is pretty pretty big so we're gonna there is um some trails and stuff let's actually explore this in free mode because i am over encumbered of course um so yeah as you can see that's my character right there it is fairly big there are trails that go uh to different places so you have little trails and everything set up everywhere you want them to be that's really cool there is a lake which isn't too deep so those canoes in the season pass will fit perfectly in there and then you have uh, room up top on top of the cliff up here as well. So you can really make this your own. I'm considering doing a little bit of, of like a log cabin village. As you know, I have my uh, merchant and my traders in my current shelter. I have the uh, vault Tech storage shelter. I don't really recommend keeping your uh, vendor in a shelter. But if you do like I do, then this might be a really fun one to work with. The sun... So the sun does reflect down on here and it, I've noticed it does change where the shadows pop up over time. So it's not a very, it's not a very like lively transition of which way the shadows are casted, but it does change over time. I've noticed that it's almost a little dynamic. So that's 
pretty cool. Also, as you can see, the wind is blowing, which does move the leaves of the trees and the items around. So this is a pretty spacious area. Just to give you an idea, I'm actually going to set a... Let's put the uh, the woodland retreat over here. This is a pretty good size pre-build, just to give you an idea of the budget. As you can see, that doesn't take up hardly any budget, which is nice. Because when this woodland retreat first came out, it took up a lot of budget. So it's pretty cool. So you could even put this house in there if you wanted to. Um, this is a very spacious shelter. So you can really kind of make your own little city in here. This is dirty water, of course, the water in the lake. But you can actually come in here. It's only about waist deep. So it's really not going to be like this awesome, like having a uh, full full-on ocean in your uh shelter but it is pretty cool to have any kind of water at all as you can see it does ripple a little bit too which is really cool so you do get a little bit of effects of that so yeah you can really this is really going to fit in for a lot of people who really want that like immersive fallout shelter now especially if you want like a summer camp theme i'm definitely going to take advantage of this and probably work on a little village in here because i do like to collect the pre-builds and I'd love to put them down in here because I think that'd be very fun to do. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is a really cool shelter. Again, if you're one that really likes to collect shelters kind of like this and like to have the really big ones, I think this is probably one of the best ones. I think the Flatland shelter might be a little bit bigger. Um, maybe more than a little bit bigger. The Flatlands is pretty sizey. So if you're just looking for something bigger, the Flatland shelter is for you. Um, this one seems to take the cake when it just comes to, for me at least, when it comes to the way it looks and the actual size of it. It's like perfect for me. I can definitely like get crazy in here with building, but at the same time not go overboard and have to over theme everything. Like my current uh, storage facility shelter, I the only issue I have with that is I don't want it to look like it's in a storage facility. I was trying to make it like this own little Nuketown-ish vibes to where it's kind of its own location. But I've been, like, I just really haven't paid it too much attention. I kind of gave up on it. I tried to do, like, a little fake sky using the blue uh, the blue wallpaper and stuff like that to make a sky uh, theme and stuff like that. But I kind of gave up on it. Um, I, did, I did a few stores. I'll actually show you mine right quick so you can see where I'm actually coming from and talking about the storage facility. But I actually put a few structures down. And then afterwards, I was like, okay, I, I think it's time to move on to the next. And it's going to be right here. So... As you can see, I really didn't do much with it, but as I said, the size really, really is, uh, I don't want to say it's doubled, but I want to say it's close to double the size of the storage facility shelter. This one's definitely taller, uh, probably for the height, height build uh, restrictions in this, but needless to say, guys, this shelter is something you should be picking up if you really want to have your own shelter. It's definitely a shelter you should be picking up, guys, if it's... If you really want a shelter you can theme and kind of go crazy with, I recommend picking it up. Again, if you don't think you're actually going to use it, maybe don't spend the 1500 atoms on it. There are ways to get atoms in-game without actually spending actual money, so I recommend doing that. But guys, that's this has just been a quick video. I wanted to show you guys this. I didn't have a Atomic Shop update video this week because they did... They did delay it with the release of the new uh, Skyline Valley update, which the update itself is really cool. Um, if you want my reaction to the Seasons Pass, that is available on the channel as well. I will put that link in the description. I think out of the Atomic Shop, this is probably one of the only really crazy notable items. Of course, you can get the Summer Camp Bundle, which you get a lot of trees and foliage that you can use in the Summer Camp uh, shelter so i picked that up actually it only cost me 1800 atoms so if that's something you want to do definitely pick that up but i'm gonna keep you guys updated on what my shelter looks like once i'm done the minutes i'm gonna work on that over the course of the next few weeks i'm really just gonna try to make it as awesome as possible but guys that's gonna be the end of this video thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers I am waiting for my uh, voice to come back and not to be completely sick before I record my big 5,000 subscribers video. I'm going to do a video reading your comments. So any comments you want answered or just any basic questions you have for me, leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know if this is a shelter that you're picking up or what your favorite shelter in the game is. Mine personally. 
besides this shelter right here, I really like the nuclear test facility. The one where you can press the button and watch the nuke go off. I actually don't own that on this account, but I really wish I did. That's probably my favorite uh, shelter in the game. So that's really cool. Let me know what yours is down below. And guys, as always, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.